I'm a complete sucker for a modern mystery. I've watched from the classic, the modern, even that stupid Adam Sandler movie. Just put colorful characters in exotic place, turn the light off, and drop a dead body in front of me. I would probably watch it. Left Out is something special, even among the best of the genre. If there's an opposite of rolling in the grave, Agatha Christie is doing it right now. The first standout is the cast, which helped tremendously on setting the characters. Another good mystery film is Gosford Park from 2001. It has more than a dozen characters, the lords, the ladies, and their servants. This is one of the purest movies with modern mystery formula, but I did feel it got a bit crowded at times. The more recent Murder at Orient Express from 2017 also boasts great names, which help differentiate the characters. Left South takes it one step further with top tier cast, both popular and award winning. They bring distinct future to every character, thus making them very recognizable. The main spotlights go to Daniel Craig and Anna de Armas, but there are so many outstanding performances packed into this one movie. We'll get back to them a bit later. A lot of credit must go to the director and writer Ryan Johnson for setting up a flawless mystery. The movie has so many layers and twists, but it always gives the audience the necessary info as naturally as possible. Part of the joy is to solve the mystery with the detective. And a lot of other films made mistakes that hamper the experience. One example of this is the most recent murder mystery with Adam Sandler, which used the same exact formula. One of the riddles is the identity of a certain character, which boils down to the name that translated into Butler as a wordplay joke. Furthermore, it also had the cliché, they are secretly alive as plot convenience. The information were either hidden before or worse, altered. Sherlock Holmes with Robert Downey Jr. was also guilty of this. The explanation for the crime method involves glue made from honey using ancient Egyptian technique, neither a common knowledge nor explained before. Another cliché is the murder map, as in the locations of murders turn out to have significant meaning like they would draw a pentagram or some shit. Angels and Demons with Tom Hanks did this part as well, this time using Vatican City. We don't have Google map of the setting, so this reveal feels cheap for the audience. But the best example of this is the autopsy report update in Phoenix Wright, where his opponent just pulled out a new report from his ass. Many TV shows use this trope, just throwing new information with shock value. Probably unfair to use this as comparison, but the point still stands. Knives Out delivers the scenes and subsequently information very well. The aesthetic not only serves as metaphor or eye candy, but it provides all the clues for the audience. Sometimes it's done in a fitting manner, yet they are never insignificant. It is crucial to give that light bulb moment effect towards the end. Most of them are done by subtle dialogues, the best and more entertaining way to do it. If we take a look at Angels and Demons again, so much of the movie is Tom Hanks dumping exposition to the camera. Here the talented cast is needed to bring every moment to life. Everyone has their own flair. Michael Shannon is as grumpy as old Luke Skywalker. Tony Collette who played in the terrifying Hereditary last year, now is a self-centered lifestyle guru. And Jamie Lee Curtis curses like she meets Mike Myers for the 14th times. All of these performances and little details work charmingly in creating layers of the mystery. But the crown must go to Daniel Craig, who channeled his inner Hercu Poirot so excellently with his inquisitive tone and vocabulary. He's a joy to watch, sometimes bumbling through the crime but landing with grace. Ana de Armas is the best protagonist the movie could hope for. She has the innocence of wounded, vomiting deer, and through the twists and turns, you can't help but to root for her. Chris Evans adds more fun to the mix as he drops swear words after a decade of playing Captain America. Knives Out also has the visual straight from a classic mystery novel. The humor is clever and sophisticated, another nod to the writing. The movie is the rare occasion where the pieces of the puzzle come together perfectly. It's a joy to experience, and not only a good whodunit mystery, but a master in drama, comedy, and thriller. It deserves all the praises it has gotten, 
and here's hoping to more Detective Blanc in the future. Thank you for watching, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Share with your friends, I make 3 videos every week. Have a good day, I'll see you in the next one.